We're making hydrogen here in Jefferson County. The wood gasification stove you're looking at was built from a construction manual prepared by Harry LaFontaine for the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, assisted by F.P. Zimmerman at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. The justification for writing this report was that in the event of a war or national emergency, when liquid fuel supplies were interrupted, individuals could build gasifiers to run engines for transport and power. The manual was originally distributed by FEMA. This was before the greedy bush brood took the agency over. The wood gas stove pictured here produces hydrogen and carbon monoxide, both combustible gases. Gasification is a physiochemical process in which chemical transformations occur along with conversion of energy. The chemical reactions and thermochemical conversions which occur inside the stove produce wood gas. Wood gas contains approximately 20% hydrogen, 20% carbon monoxide, small amounts of methane, and 50 to 60% nitrogen. It must be noted at this point that one of the gases produced, carbon monoxide, is a poisonous gas and should be treated as such. Just point the camera down in there just to show the folks at home and then okay. uh, start over from there. Do you need a narrative? Um, sure, you can talk. Hi, this is the uh, burn chamber for the homemade gasifier. And uh, we've put a little newspaper in the bottom just to fill it uh, to, to make sure that our uh, wood chips don't fall all the way through. And uh, we've probably got uh, four or five inches of uh, rubbish uh, wood chips in there uh, to help us get it started. Well, let's get it started. We got our downdraft. You can feel the downdraft, right? We're going to light her from the top instead of the bottom. We don't have our hopper on, which is going to make it a lot easier. A simple filter was built to trap any ash or tars in the wood gas before the gases enter an internal combustion engine. That's the uh, filter, eh? Can yeah. I dump it in there? Okay, go ahead. Dump it in. Cool, cool. That's probably oh. plenty. Yeah. yeah. Put the lid on, we should get a little suction from the... Yeah, from the other part. That changes the sound yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> Initially on startup, we had incomplete combustion and a lot of water vapor in our wood gases. It slowly got better as the thermal combustion got hotter and hotter. We're definitely getting a little fuel yeah. gas. Good. Yeah. It is more of a, everything's orange. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a lot more defined and pronounced than we had on startup. Yeah. That's, I wonder if he had as Now, it's not, there's enough water in it, it won't self-ignite. Right. Or stay, stay lit. Yeah. That. Yeah, it is. I wonder if he had a smaller outlet with that. Uh, a little Venturi effect. Yeah. Like a... There we have hydrogen burning. It doesn't yes. quite stay lit yet, but Not it is yet. close. Not yet. Maybe a smaller oh, orifice. Yeah. Yeah. We're burning. It's burning. Woo. We're gonna hold that <laughs> We're burning. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. It's totally clean. Yeah. That is. That is like. That is super duper clean. That is. That's nice and warm. Warm your fingers huh. up. That is so cool. I that cannot is. believe it. <laughs> Where are the marshmallows? Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> so now you get it, right? 
During operation of a stratified downdraft gasifier, air passes uniformly downward through four zones, hence the name stratified. The upper zone contains unreacted fuel through which air and oxygen enter. This region serves the same function as the fuel hopper in the older World War II designs. In the second zone, the wood fuel reacts with oxygen during pyrolysis. Most of the volatile components of the fuel are burned in this zone and provide heat for continued pyrolysis reaction. At the bottom of this zone, all the available oxygen from the air should be completely reacted. The open top design ensures uniform access of air to the pyrolysis region. The third zone is made up of charcoal from the second zone. Hot combustion gases from the pyrolysis region react with the charcoal to convert the carbon dioxide and water vapor into carbon monoxide and hydrogen. The inner char and ash, which constitute the fourth zone, are normally too cool to cause further reactions. However, because the fourth zone is available to absorb heat or oxygen as conditions change, it serves both as a buffer and as a charcoal storage region. Below this zone is the grate. The presence of char and ash serves to protect the grate from excessive temperatures. The stratified downdraft design has a number of advantages over the World War II gasifier designs. The open top permits fuel to be fed more easily and allows easy access. The cylindrical shape is easy to fabricate and permits continuous fuel flow. No special fuel shape or pretreatment is necessary. Any blocky fuel can be used. Wow, that hey, is neat. Hey, happy Friday to you too. We've uh, got our homemade gasifier working and we're producing hydrogen. Wow, what a neat, yeah. what a difference that was. Yeah, yeah. You Just can... don't suck. <laughs> it's like siphoning. You saw all the Johnsons and so did I. <laughs> That's going to be great. I'm going to have this up on YouTube tonight. <laughs> Doug, we're making hydrogen here in Jefferson County. <laughs>